south side of Chicago. Welcome to the home of the White Sox, Guaranteed Rate Field. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago White Sox. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, and guys, the White Sox really taking care of their rivals in this series so far, looking for the sweep here today. Yeah, and to sweep this team right here would be a huge momentum boost. It is not easy to sweep a series. I don't care if it's three games or four games. I think back to Bobby Cox. His big thing was you just want to win series. Two out of three, three out of four. But when you have a chance to sweep a team, you have to take advantage of it. Bernardo Flores starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So here is Bo Bichette. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Leading off tonight for Toronto, the shortstop, Bo Bichette. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. That one is gone. What a way to lead off a ball game. So it's a solo home run here leading off the ball game. 12 home runs for him now thus far. As the Jays get the game's first tally, it's one to nothing. I love the way this lineup's constructed. Right out of the gate, they smack you right in the mouth with one of the better power hitters in their lineup. And he takes him deep right there to set the tone. Here's Joe Panic. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. Panic behind a ball and two strikes. Swing and a high pop up. Making the play over there is a Brayu for the first out. Now, a moment as we take a look at the Jays' starting nine for this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matty, this club really wants to see something positive out of Joe Panic. He had only one home run last month, so if you're looking at a guy in the middle of the order with just one homer, your team's not going to score a lot of runs. He's got to turn on the power in this lineup if this team wants to have any success at all. Here's George Springer as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one and guys you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games yeah Maddie this is going to be an interesting watch for me I can only think back to when you're facing an ace the team's playing well you're confident you go to the ballpark and you want to set the tone everybody yeah, dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove the throw into second not in time, and he's in there with a double. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound.
So now to the plate, Lourdes Guriel. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Two and zero oh to the Jays left fielder. Boy, it sure doesn't seem like they want to pitch to this guy right here. I get that, but it's just the first inning. Sometimes you have to compete and set the tone. The count now at two and one. strike that time and it's even at two and two he's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches statistics class tells and that's in there base hit and the run will score from second to make this a two nothing ball game Teoscar Hernandez digging in now and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his goal. Oh, On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. Show track is going to give us a better look at that play. You usually don't see third baseman show off a lot of range, but he certainly did there. And to complete the play, uncorked a good hard throw across to first for the out. Nice play all around from the hot corner. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. To come in here at 259. Six home runs, 18 driven in. Strike two as the fastball is let go. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And this one's in the dirt, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Another 1-2 delivery. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Guriel at second with two down. right here I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher you keep fouling these pitches off maybe one misses over the heart of the plate so it's two runs on three hits no errors and a runner left on on now to the bottom of inning number one the Jays are out in front two to nothing Hyunjin Ryu will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Stepping up is Danny Mendick. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Uh, guys, as the Jays take the field here tonight, they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. The wind-up and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Well, the key for him on the mound is to keep the ball down. Certainly, hollow of the knee or lower. Sinker changeup guy, if he's going to succeed against this lineup, he's got to keep the ball down. Hot shot yeah, and handled for the first out. A moment here from the south side to take a look at the Pale Hose starting lineup in this one. 
Dero, what's the word on this lineup as they go for the series sweep? Well, Matt, this lineup finds themselves down two runs. Nothing crazy. Everyone relax. Stay within the game plan. Find a way to execute and get one run on the board and get back in this. So nope. here's Yuan Moncada. One and oh, the count. Bases are empty. One man out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and oh now. Over the outside half, and it's 2-1. and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. And it's two balls and two strikes now. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Swing and a line. Yes, yeah. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go for it. At the plate, Leori Garcia as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one comes into this one at 271 three homers and an even 20 RBIs the 1 0 home time for a look at our umpires in this one behind the plate is Earl Hendricks hey you know D -Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other could it be where he sets up behind the catcher so a two run homer down the line in left fourth home run for him on the season as the White Sox draw even it's two to two well that lead didn't last very long Great swing of the bat right there to get your team right back in it and tie this one up. To the plate now, Elo Jimenez. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. He takes something off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Mm. There are two it's never easy to rebound after serving up a two-run shot, but that at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He comes in at 262 on the year. Four home runs and 14 driven in. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. Now another 0-2. It's fair. That's a hit. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. Well, now you see how difficult it is to be a catcher. This ball is really smoke, gets all the way to the wall, D Row, but he just doesn't have the foot speed to turn this into an extra base hit. Yeah, his calling card is definitely not his ability to run the bases. It's for offense and massaging a pitching staff. So here's Jose Abreu. And he takes ball one. He'll come in here at 259. Nine homers and 23 driven in. One and no oh pitch on the way. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Two and one the count to the White Sox first baseman. A 
Two in the inning for the Sox, however, they come on this two-run home run. Second inning coming up, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Set, here it comes as he takes a cold strike at the knees it's 0 and 1 well as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast the shy Sox have their sights set on a series sweep here today you know and it's not an easy thing yes, to complete a sweep particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive so a sweep at home would be extra special all right guys here's a defensive alignment for the Chicago White Sox and if you look at the numbers on this team defensively they're in the top five fewest errors in the league flashing the leather picking and grinning keep an eye on them they play stout defense into the box now Marcus Semyon yeah, he'll enter play down at an even 240 Hi, year seven homers and 19 driven in that evens it up one and one The pitch keeping it down here as it's to one and two well below the knees laid off on the change up there hey they tried to tie him up on that last pitch so I like that they went away with this one the execution didn't work but I like the idea behind it Shin high fastball that time, ball three. Danny Jansen waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch fouled off. The next three two is offered and yes, he chased it for strike three. He's looking a lot sharper and has settled in here in the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. Next is Danny Jansen, and it's fouled away. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive.
off speed pitch here, but it dips below the knees, evening us at one and one. <laughs> Now here's the pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Anderson picks it up. Throw over to Abreu <coughs> time and with the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied 2-2. Into the box, Adam Engel. Couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Now here's the first offering. Engel. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. A oh. dive and oh, he can't hang on. Put on, put on. Nice line drive to right field right there. Dan, does it concern you when you're missing middle, hard of the plate early in the game? It does, d -roll. This is the kind of guy that he can't get away with those kind of mistakes. He needs to work the corners up, down, in and out. And like that one right there, he has to stay out of the middle of the zone. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Engel on at first. Nobody out. Now a throw over and the runner back in standing. Counts a ball and two strikes to the White Sox shortstop. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Count even at two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Sinker, three and two now. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And awfully close there on three and two, but take your base, says Earl Hendricks. It's ball four. Adam Eaton digging in next. His past history with Hunjin Ryu. He hasn't had much success, just two for 11. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Hey, two options if you're standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and two now to Adam Eaton. And it's a ball and two strikes to Adam Eaton now. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. Strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job. Yeah, that's not like that. 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 Yeah, that's not Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Protecting with two strikes. Went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 0 2. This one skied out toward right. Grichuk is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. And he'll make it safely to third, so they're at the corners now with two men out. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. First pitch on its way. This will get caught chasing a bad one there. Strike one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. Swung on and missed that strike two. The 
Well, the shortstop's nah. got him played perfectly as he takes this in for the third out. White Sox strand a couple. Two innings complete. Deuces are wild. It's two to two. Welcome back to the south side of Chicago, where the hometown White Sox have given these fans a lot to cheer about from the mound this season. They enter the day near the top of the league in strikeouts, so this is a pitching staff that possesses a lot of dominant arms. One of them told me, the talent and pure stuff on this team is ridiculous. So as long as we're going after the hitters and commanding our pitches in the right spots, we'll have a lot of success. Most of the time, that's the case, and that's because we trust in our abilities. It's pretty clear these guys are some of the best around at keeping the opposition off balance. Matt? Okay, thank you, Heidi. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Bo Bichette will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, gotta believe that pitch is coming again right here. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. There's a ball low. He misses with the changeup. Two two. Oh, he took ah, yeah, swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Wow. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second of the game, as the Blue Jays have taken a three two lead. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. At the plate now, Joe Panic lifted down the line and left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He popped out in his first trip. and one count and the pitch hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff but this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball two back to back <laughs>
trying to get him to chase the cutter there. A ball of two strikes. <laughs> Fouled away. No outs, nobody on. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded by Abreu, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with that, we give you a look here at the standings entering play in the AL Central. George Springer the next to hit. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. So a solid single to left, and that gives him a multi-hit game here tonight. And as we call upon the Toronto leaderboard, you can see he ranks third on the team in that department. Into the box, Lourdes Gurriel. Yes, he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. One for one with a single so far. Behind 0-2 now. And another foul ball. Next 0-2. Hit in the air down the right field line. Engel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next will be the designated hitter, Teoscar Hernandez. He bounced out last time up. From the stretch. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Hey, this pitcher's gonna have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. <laughs> the one oh. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself at a real good hitter's count. Springer is off of first with two away. <laughs> and a good comeback ball, fastball there. It's two <laughs> balls and a strike.
あーミスターやってもたやってもたなファンズラブアオフェンスファンズラブアウェボールだまえな。ああ、取れるか。そう、2アウト、ノーディオン。そう、2アウト、ノーディオン。そう、2アウト、ノーディオン。
Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Blue Jays to discuss his thoughts on his team's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. Here it comes. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Lifted in the air to yes. the line and right. He'll put it away without much trouble, and the leadoff man is retired here in the fourth. So bases are empty with one gone. And up next, a Berkeley area native, Marcus Simeon. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. That's popped up. Mendick has a play. Two down. Now Next up, Danny Jansen. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. No. Go on to first gets him and the side is retired. Blue Jays go down in order. They're up 3 to 2. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the White Sox offense with their manager in between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now. Here comes the first baseman, Jose Abreu. The first baseman, Jose Abreu. And the pitch. And that one right down Main Street. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation, you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. Here now the 2-2. Is at the knees and called strike three. Yeah. Stepping in, Adam Engel singled in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. And that misses one and one. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one.
cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Three and two. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole mm. in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. And that'll bring up the shortstop, Tim Anderson, as he'll take a look at a sinker here, too low for ball one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Down the left field line. Wow, and, deep. Shit. and he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. A ball and two strikes now. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. <laughs> Trying to strike out the side, here it is. Hit in the air down the left field line. Oh, I he takes the turn and heads for second. Did he did he fail. Skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. You can see that he was all over that pitch, yanking it down the line. They're lucky that thing bounced over the fence because if it would have got lost in the corner out there, there's no telling how far he could have gotten. In now is Adam Eaton. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. First time up, he went down looking. Now he turns and smokes this one into oh. deep center field. Ah, no me gonna Able to track it down for the third out. Two out double left stranded. Back with more on a Thursday night following this. Stepping in for the Jays, Bo Bichette, two home runs in two at-bats so far and looking to add to that here. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Comes set with the 0-1. change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away that's just quality pitching right there for that strikeout some guys are real good low ball hitters but more often than not keeping the ball down is going to lead to a lot of success on the mound Panic. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. And that's oh. in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working.
now, George Springer. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. He's got hits in both of his at-bats so far in this one. And it's one and one. He's set. Here comes the one-one. And now a block has been called here as he came to the plate too quickly. And you can forget about that double play now as the runner moves into scoring position with one away. One home, and I believe perhaps a ah, walk has been walk. Here. Yes, it has, and that's going to move the runner up to third now. Is still just one away. You can really tell about mm, how effective this no, guy's going to be. When guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. One and two now, as that one's fouled off. Panic takes his lead at third with one away. Chopped weakly to the left. And he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Ah, yeah, but it's it. a foul ball. Hey, five foul balls in a row. Loving the battle in the box right here. Making yeah, shot. Sure. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. That strikeout changes the whole complexion of the inning. He was definitely pitching for it with a runner on third and one out, and he got it. Now it's going to take a hit or something like a wild pitch to get that guy home. Tony La Russa out of his foxhole at the end of the dugout and he's going to motion for his bullpen here that'll do it for the starter tonight so he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around Jay Spry a six foot one inch southpaw will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here Late now, Lourdes Guriel. And that misses ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. He pops up the chain coming out towards shallow right. Mendick is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Blue Jays held in check, but they still lead it three to two. Digging in will be Danny Mendick. He'll get his side started in the inning. And Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Here comes Ryu 0-2. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. So the intent of that 0-2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything. Oh, yeah. To have him at that, the mo da ibo has him at him as well. Digging in the switch hitter, Yohan Moncada. So then he go kai no ura desu. Definitely not the side where he hits for more thunder. 
More pop in the bat. Yeah. Left-handed, but he's gonna have to figure out a way to start to get a little bit more thunder. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the shots. That's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Step out of the box, take a deep breath. After spitting on that changeup, you might have bought yourself a fastball. Gotcha. Panic is under it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Striding forward now is the DH, Leori Garcia. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of it. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Ball yeah. two strikes the count now with the bases empty and two away. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Yes. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。ネバってネバってした。
score from second. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around to score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, D-Row. There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors, and you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu. Wow. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. He's set the 0 1. Nah, I think that ball knocked down at home plate. Ah, there, and he's out trying to take a second. White Sox pick up just the one. New inning set to get underway, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. He's set and the pitch. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. That's the ball. <laughs> Swing and a miss on the yes. ball, and that's the first out. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So now to the plate, Rendell Gritcher chopped weakly to the right. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Hits are even at 7 apiece. Swung on, yes, and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Richard is retired. Two down now. now Number 44. Next up is Rowdy Tellez trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Fouled away. Maybe lucky to get a piece there. It stays 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's 1 and 2. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at 2 and 2. Struck him out. Yes, so he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. On to the bottom of inning number six, tied three apiece. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Jose Abreu. Jose Abreu. Pitch on the way. Oh, that's low. That's the ball. The 1-0 home. No, 
Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Three and oh now. Well, all three here. Hey, and the White Sox would love to start it in and get that leadoff guy on. They'd love to get a leadoff walk right here. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. Fastball got him looking. Ooh, yes, I think I seem action on it. One gone. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Adam Engel. Next to hit is Adam Engel. He's one for two in this one. <laughs> First pitch of the AB now. Bases are empty, one man out. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. He takes straight wow. to the called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. And now in the box, Tim Anderson. He doubled his last time through. First pitch on the way. Two out, nobody on. Didn't miss by much there, but it's just a bit high. And it's two balls and a strike for Tim Anderson. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Yes, Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two out base hit. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know, Mark, these days, you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. Standing in now, Adam Eaton. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 for him to this point. One now a cutter, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Throw over to first in the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. Hey, He's set. Here comes the one one. I'll oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Count all the way full to the White Sox center fielder. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time <coughs> here tonight. White Sox have won. Six innings are in the books. Score holds it three to three. 
striding in is Marcus Semien. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Lifetime versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Outside. 3-0 now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The 3 1. あ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. Anderson is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Stretch time here on the south side of Chicago, and we are all tied at three apiece. Ryan Barucki gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and digging in next will be Danny Mendick. The second baseman, Danny Nick Madrid <coughs> is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Here's the first pitch. As he'll send a ball down to third. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. Next to hit, Johan Moncada for his career in this matchup. He's a 333 hitter. In there, and it's 0 and 1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Ah, ball, yeah. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains ball. Easy take there on the sinker, well off the outside. Good play discipline to lay off the slide. Sasui no in course. おお。誘うな。おい、ワンフロンビングインザドライバーシートナウビギンスントラブル。ハッドカウント。ソイマクリ。ソイマクリ。ソイマクリ。ソイマクリ。ソイマクリ。ソイマクリ。ソイマク
at the plate, Lourdes Guriel. This one foul off to the left and out of play. He's working on a one for three thus far. It's way the 0 1 pitch. Line short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Next to bat for Toronto, Teoscar Hernandez. He was sat down on strikes in his last game. Anderson, sir. He might have to put him Good pitch there down below the zone got him to go. That's the heavy sinker right there. He has the ability to get potential double play situations or to get that jam job with no one on base that tapper right back to the pitcher. One of the toughest pitches to hit in the game. Blue Jays go down in order. No change in the score. It's three to three. David Phelps is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Ah, oh, exciting no. Eloy Jimenez. Off the bench as he will pinch it here in the bottom of the eighth in a tie ball game. First pitch on its way. Fouled off. Fastball called for two. Ah, that's a ball, yeah. Ball, this year. The next O2 pitch to him misses outside. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. And here's a curveball looked at. Gotcha. Called, and that's the first out of the inning. Stepping in next, Yosmani Grandal. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. A great job pounding the zone strike one. <laughs> when you got a great hitter in the box, you gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Swing and a miss. Ah, One and two to the White Sox catcher. Definitely not what you're trying to do here. 0 and 2 with a curveball. You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. Sent in the air out to yeah, I see. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. Out of the plate, Jose Abreu, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Uh, every no, pitch so off. crucial in a tie ball game, so he'll step out and ask for time. Andrew Vaughn gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the base is empty. <laughs> He's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He'll come in here at 259, five homers and 17 RBIs. The 0 1. Call 
called strike, and he's behind one and two. One ball, two strikes. Strike three call. Nah. The inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox. Score remains tied at three to three. Luis Robert will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Andrew Vaughn stays in the ball game after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base. All set to start the ninth in this one, and the big right-handed bat of Randall Grichuk saunters into the batter's box next. First offering on its way. ま、はや。ロビマス。ドンエクスペクトゥメニーモーハイファストボールインディスワン。ヒーズノーフォーシュートシーズ。ヒーズノーフォーシュートシーズ。ヒーズノーフォーシュートシーズ。ヒーズノ
アンダーソンさ。ドンピシャやった。うわお。素晴らしい。ギリ入ってましたね。
1 and 0. Oh. Here it is. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. And not too shabby out of the pen. Takes just two pitches to get the ground ball, and that ends the inning. A man left for the White Sox, still tied 3 to 3. ガイアをいじくらんと六十九よいしょ ああ延長に入ってまいりましたらこれが大変でねうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖いうわ怖い
And he missed with it. It's one and two. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Ah. Oh, Tony. Ready with another two strike offering. Oh. Lifted the other way out to left ah, center. Springer. Oh, Sandy, good. But the runner tags. He I did good shot. And he'll get there at third, and now the winning runs only 90 feet away with just one out. Ah, Sayonara, the kid. And he might very well get four wide ones here to try to set up a Sasakani Kekai. Zen Shin Shibi. スクイーズはやらんでしょ。ついたー。さよならやろ。さよならにセーフライ。いいよっしゃ。さよならさよなら。さよならさよなら。さよならさよなら。電池がなくなりそうです。さっきからビュンビュン言ってる。いや、いい試合やったな。おお。連勝、5連勝。お、並んだ。微妙にちゃうけど並んでますな。さあ、ではではでは、お疲れ様でした。眠い。<笑>